டாக்டர் கே பி ராமலிங்கம் தேங்க்யூ சார்மன் சார் சார் ப்ரீசியஸ் ஹியூமன் ஸ்கில் இஸ் வீவிங் செல் மேன் இன்வென்டட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி ஓன்லி த டெக்ஸ்டைல் சார் நன் அதர் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி வாஸ் இன்வென்டட் பை மேன் only after textile only the textile industry is invented by a man is the first industry sir so i am very proud to speak in this amendment bill sir in order to avoid eviction and thereby making it explicit that the ownership of land will be with the central government this bill is being introduced i welcome this because a dynamic textile minister now officiating this textile ministry so i hope he will do a very proper in this so i welcome this and support this through this government has accorded a status of national textile corporation this would have been done very early sir let it be it is better than late better than ever sir but i would like to clarify certain point my congress friend for telangana friend was spoke about enormous about our subjects he was mentioned bombay calcutta and varanasi and elsewhere but he was not mentioned about tamil nadu coimbatore industries this is a southern manchester this coimbatore is a southern manchester okay but and also in 1968 our brave leader mrs gandhi formed a ntc but before that in 1967 our dmk election manifesto my great leader anna in his election manifesto he said all the sikh units run by the closed by private units 16 tamil nadu textile mills will be going to undertake government organization he promised to the people in 1967 and in the floor of the assembly in 1969 sorry 68 in the floor the floor of tamil nadu assembly he promised tamil nadu textile corporation we are i am going to form but in 69 his health was not allowed to do that after him my leader talaver kalinjar taken charge in 1969 1970 budget he granted 500 crore he formed tamil nadu textile corporation he undertaken 16 mills run properly in the year of 1972 after that 1972 only ntc was taken over all the 16 mills by the central government by ntc now out of the 16 mills only 7 is running sir only 7 is operational the rest of 9 is closed even 7 now 5 mills are on the way to close so in this juncture all over india i think 104 mills out of 104 mills 27 is running now the remaining are closed so we must be very careful in this amendment it should be helped for the textile industry not for the textile industry to switch over for man make in india or made in india in any any form of india it should not be changed to real estate business instead of textile business it should not be changed to real estate business so we must be very careful sir so in this juncture i take this opportunity to highlight the labor issues which is most prevalent in ntc recently the ministry has informed this our house that under revival plan approximately 65000 employees were to be given modified voluntary retirement scheme that is 
3,295 employees have opted for MBRS at a compensation of rupees 2,378.75 crore. But this compensation is not enough, sir, because it should be doubled. Because you are going to take these mills even on the, in the Koyamutur mill, in Koyamutur city mills alone, this now the land has worth about 10,000 crores, sir. 10,000 crores worth. But your compensation only for all over India, the compensation is 2,378.75. Give share to labor also, sir. You provide the worth of the bill, worth of the property, you can divide it and give the shares to the, to the, to the people or their families, sir. I wonder whether it is a voluntary retirement scheme or wantonly retiring scheme. That also I was know from the government, sir. Sir, textile industry is a human labor intensive one. Before <coughs> declaring any industry as a sick, one, it is imperative on the part of the government to take care of the interest of the laborers. If they are thrown out, entire family comes to the street. That's what Congressman told here. But their entire future becomes a question mark now, sir. Their well-being is to be taken care of. That I think, I believe our minister, and I believe the Prime Minister, they will take care of the labor issue, sir. In, by this assurance, I am supporting the bill. I am welcoming the bill. I am appreciating the bill, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.